Poland is a country that has been invaded and occupied multiple times throughout its history, resulting in significant blows to the country. However, when I looked at the map of the Black Death pandemic, I found it strange that the plague, despite causing significant death and devastation throughout Europe, had relatively little impact on Poland. As you can see on the map, a vast region of Poland is marked in green, indicating that the country was somewhat safe from the Black Death. Of course, before we understand why this is the case, it's best to dispel a long-standing myth that often circulates among history enthusiasts and the general public, which is that Poland escaped the Black Death. This is completely untrue, as this is did make its way into Poland, and some people in the surrounding region were certainly affected by it. Unfortunately, due to the general scale of destruction and poor maintenance records, it is impossible to accurately determine how many people died as a result of the Black Death. However, Estimates have generally indicated that around 25% of the kingdom's population was lost, which amounts to about a quarter of a society, and this is a large number. In comparison to countries such as Spain, Italy, and France, all of which lost about 80% of their population, the statistics are much lower and only a small part of Poland, along with areas such as the city of Milan and Nuremberg, can be considered regions with partial prevalence. Now we know that Poland was not completely safe from the Black Death, but it still did well in dealing with the deadliest disease in human history. In the following, I will explain the reasons for Poland's success in this regard. But first, if you're interested in geographic and historical videos, I suggest subscribing to the Geography Tour channel and turning on notifications to stay informed about our latest videos. In the mid-14th century, the Black Death traveled to Europe through Genoese merchants in the port of Kaffa on the Black Sea, and as the story goes, the Golden Horde soldiers who had besieged the city catapulted the bodies of the sick inside the city walls, which led to the spread of this biological warfare with the fleeing ships that returned to the city of Genoa, and then this disease quickly spread throughout Italy and was able to gain a foothold in Europe. During the Black Death, the Kingdom of Poland was a landlocked country, largely surrounded by plague-infected area. Therefore, Casimir the Great, who ruled Poland, made an intelligent decision that had a significant impact on reducing the spread rate. Casimir the Great's decision was to immediately close the country's borders after initial reports from the West and create internal quarantines. Of course, this operation was not like today's quarantines to threaten epidemics. In fact, it was more related to the entries of Poland's roads, where people from medieval cities affected by the Black Death entered, and authorities only refused entry to those who were clearly infected. So, smugglers could still enter the country and travel in the smaller communities within the realm of Poland, which led to the spread of the Black Death to Poland. Although Poland had a lower population density than other European countries, so the process of infecting people was slower. This aligned with the distance between the cities, also made travel time an important factor that had a direct impact. For example, traveling from Prague to Krakow usually takes 8 days, which compared to the time it takes for the plague to appear in a sick person, which is between 24 to 72 hours. It can be concluded that when arriving in a destination city, a sick person would not be allowed to enter. The spread of Black Death had a significant impact on Polish society, especially in terms of population. Many Jews in Europe were discriminated against during this period as they were blamed for spreading the plague, despite the large Jewish communities within the borders of Poland, especially in Poznan and Krakow. Casimir the Great welcomed the onslaught of Jews on this population and encouraged and even provided personal protection to them. This greatly strengthened the exciting Jewish communities and increased their numbers to the point where for centuries afterwards, Poland was home to the largest Jewish community in the world, known as the Golden Age of Jews in Poland. Another reason that had an impact on Poland's resistance to the Black Death can be attributed to the religious customs of Polish Jews. Jews place great importance on personal hygiene, especially hand washing, in the religious customs, which was not only encouraged in the religion but also mandatory. Additionally, customs such as washing hands before eating, taking a regular bath, and their hygiene practices that are considered fundamental to health in the 21st century. However, these strict standards of Jewish hygiene were not the standard for most ordinary people who spent half their lives without washing their hands, which led to a negative attitude towards Jews in Poland towards the end of Casimir's reign. Because people were skeptical about the low infection rates among local Jews, and for this reason, 
They accepted the idea that the plague was a Jewish conspiracy. This blood rebelled against Jews turned into a growing phenomenon that, although interfaith relations were still relatively calm compared to other European countries, the first mass murder in Poland was recorded in Poznan in 1367, near the end of the Black Death. Now, as a final point that is often discussed as an asset to slow down the spread of the disease, Poland's geographic and climatic location in Europe initially has only denoted. Poland was more populous than other European countries, and more specifically, it could hardly compare with the densely populated Mediterranean coast that had evolved through trade and generally warmer climate. And in terms of climate, it is believed that the mild seasonal climate of Poland has reduced the spread of the plague due to the fact that the weather is colder than in the south and west of Europe. And the historian Norman Cantor wrote in his book that the absence of the plague in Bohemia and Poland are usually explained by rats avoiding these areas due to the unavailability of food that rodents find palatable. These two points may be true, but they definitely cannot be relied on as humans. As well as the other argument, it concerns the food chain of the Polish people, which according to the evidence has significantly reduced the food chain of countries at the time of the Black Death due to excessive deaths of people in Europe which has not happened in Poland, which has led many to confirm that Poland has escaped the Black Death. In the end, Poland was not the only region that was able to be safe from the Black Death. And as I said, regions such as Milan and Nuremberg were also peaceful regions, which used interesting methods to control and prevent the spread of the disease. So if the feedback on this video is good, I will make a video about each of these areas in the coming days. So if you want to wait, and also if you are interested in geographic and historical videos, I suggest you subscribe to the Geography Tour channel and entering the channel. Visit our other videos and see you in another video at the end.